Yo, what's up, YouTube? I'm your boy, Double A, Nine Skills, and welcome back to the Rota for Champions RTG Edition. Boy, your nation, what's popping, baby? Yo, guys, I gotta bring this to y'all, man. I have to, man. Now, this video is actually supposed to go on my second channel because you guys know I put all my squad battle stuff over there, but this is insane, man. This is nuts. This is crazy. This is just something I really wanted to share with the Booyah Nation, bros. Real quick, just smash the thumbs up if you're enjoying the Road to Glory. This is what our Road to Glory team looks like. It got Griezmann, got Dembele, it got the boy Anthony Martial. You know Dembele got replaced with the big boy Alessandrini. But during this time, we didn't have Alessandrini. We were rocking out with Dembele. Now, Booyah Nation, the reason I'm even bringing you these highlights is because right now in squad battles, it's insane. I am battling it out with a homie that messaged me on Twitter. Okay, so he knows the channel. He knows the content. He messaged me on Twitter. I'm battling it out with him for first place in squad battles. This is massive because if we can get first place, okay, and I, right, right now as it stands, I'm in first place, but earlier today before I played this next set, the set that you're going to see at the end of this video, I was 200 points behind him. All week, I was in first place. Then I messed up on the set that you're going to see in this video, and he overtook me, and now I had a crazy big set, but if he has a bigger set, he could still jump me by like maybe 100 points or 50 points. So I really wanted to showcase this with you guys and kind of break it down to you because imagine I just show up to you guys without showing you how it's all going down, and we do get number one in the world. If we get number one in the world because we've done top 10, top 10 gets you... Um, I believe it gets you 87k, one ultimate pack, and two 50k packs. But if you get number one in the world, you get two ultimate packs, one 50k pack. No, 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 no. Let me take that back. Two ultimate packs, two 50k packs, and 100,000 coins. That's just big, bros. Two ultimate packs right now. I feel like we're going to hit a screen player if that was even possible. Now, I'm cool with top 100. I'm really cool with top, top 20. I'm extremely cool with top 10. And I'm super duper 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 cool with number one in the world, bros. But we're going to try to bang it out and get a good result. But also while I'm showing you this gameplay is I'm going to make an investment in three players in this episode. Now, where you guys left the Road to Foot Champions on yesterday's video, I'm going to kind of break it down. It'll be in the episode that's coming up. Okay, tomorrow's episode is going to have all the gameplay from the Weekend League. Um, but right now in the Weekend League, as it stands, as I'm making this video, bros, I'm actually 13, excuse me, 17 and 3. So yesterday I showed you guys I was 14 and 3. That's what yesterday's episode was. I played three more. Wait, I played 14, 15, 16, 17. Yeah, three more games. Let me make sure my math is right. Three more games, and I won all three, and we got the 17 and 3. I woke up this morning, and I decided to make a new investment and sell three players. Grisman was not one of them. I'll show you in just a little bit because it's going to be in this episode who we sold to make our defense better, and I really feel like it's going to make our defense better. Until we can get Ferdinand and get the boy Pug, but, you know, those type of players i feel like this was the right move to make our defense a tad bit better so um again i wanted to break this stuff down for you and show you what's happening because i put this content on the vlog channel on the vlog channel you get the new cast career mode that's taking place over there right now real life vlogs from me so you guys can follow you know be, be a part of my life a lot of you guys are and uh, well all you guys are but a lot of you guys watch the vlogs and then three i can put the squad battle stuff there the squad battle stuff doesn't do amazing on that channel but i like to put it there because i know there's a lot of people from this channel that go to the more a9 skills channel link down below if you want to go subscribe to it and stuff that like to see how I'm actually doing it offline because I'm gonna be honest with you guys you probably like skills how the hell why are you doing offline and online and offline I enjoy squad battles I really really like squad battles there's something about um like I played a, I played a lot of world, world of Warcraft a lot of people will be surprised about this but I played a bit of World of Warcraft growing up uh first of all I started off with a game called Ultima Online I don't know if any of you guys know about that game but Ultima Online was one of the first MMOs ever and I played it a lot and then from there uh World of Warcraft came out and uh, everyone that played that game of Ultimate Online kind of went to World of Warcraft because it was the new big MMO. Um, and, uh, and then I played World of Warcraft for a long time, stopped playing World of Warcraft. Me and my boy Nepo, the pet fest, started playing Diablo together. I played a lot of Diablo. It's something about the grind in video games that I really like. Like, I like... I like losing on FIFA, not losing to the point, what a goal from Bakayaka, not losing to the point where, um, you know, we're not getting top 100 because I'm doing bad, like I like to win to get top 100 so I can give you guys packs, but I also like the grind in video games, like I don't like to get on a game and smack, when I start smacking people and getting top 100 too easily, I don't actually really enjoy that because it's not really, 
I like the 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 building to something, grinding to something. So squad battles every day. You you, you got four new games. Um, now on the weekend it's kind of supersonic speed. I believe there's like three game three sets in one day. That's kind of a lot. But I like the sets. I like how the games keep resetting. I like how you keep having to achieve something. And the thing is that you're not just competing against other people to get top 100, but you're competing against yourself to do better. So every game I go in, you want to get ten, five goals zero conceded you want to get 10 corners 10 shots on target and you want to get as much possession as you possibly can if you can 80 20 them that would be the best thing possible so you want to get as much possession you want to get five goals you want to concede no goals you want to score corners you want to take shots on target um and you're, you're, you're challenging yourself at the end of the day it doesn't really matter what other people are doing because you're challenging yourself if you do everything perfectly uh you're going to be somewhere in top 100 realistically as long as you get over two four a game you're going to get top 100 bros and um it, it's something that any of us can achieve i really think that foot champions online you know there's a lot that goes into it that you can't really control um you know you might get a dc here you might like your opponent might get a great long shot or something but with this you can really control this because you can really learn how the ai plays how the ai ai is a set thing it's a computer once you learn how the computer works you can abuse the computer you know you can't really abuse it uh uh a human being because you never know what the next human being you're playing is doing so with this you can actually learn it learn the system and then be able to abuse the system and do well week in week out so yeah, this is a good start man a lot of people don't really rate offline but i'm gonna be honest with you if you can get top 100 online or offline you need to be doing it like you need to be doing it. if you can't do it online but you know you can do it offline but you're preferring online bros offline rewards if you can get top 10 humongous rewards bros the ultimate pack the the 50k packs the 87,000 coins for top 10. I mean, that's humongous. And then number one, if you could do that, really big. So anyways, all week, all week I was in first place. I chilled first, play, part, first place the entire week. Come Saturday, um, whew, okay, so come Saturday, your boy uh, slips up, right? You're gonna see in this set that's coming up hella really soon. Um, I slip up a little bit and the homie passes me. Now the homie tweets me and he's like, yo, skills, he puts the little eyes, like the eyes, like he's staring like, like, oh man, I just jumped you. And he jumped me by like 160 points. And right there, I was like, damn, I messed up. And y'all are gonna see it because it's in this episode. But where I mess up is like, I have a great first two sets. And then the last set, I can't get the five goals. And getting the five goals is so important. Um, so I end up slipping and he was able to overtake me and then he gave me he tweeted me the eyes and I was like I gotta come back yo I gotta come back with a veggie in the next set you gotta go off and in the next set we go off but I don't know if it's gonna be enough to actually uh overtake him and stay in first place but I hope so bros we're in first place right now we've been all week we're this close to being first place if I end up slipping up it's gonna suck but I will try again next week and again all this content goes on my on my second channel but I wanted to really show you guys at least one episode so of you know squad battles because I want you guys to see how I'm doing it so you guys don't think I'm cheese balling and you know not actually this is how the road of glory is performing and going so fast this is how we're getting so many coins is through squad battles and playing online so um, a lot of people are like is it worth doing both for me it is because playing a road of glory you don't get to invest money man you got to come up with a way to make money and this is the best way to do it so at this point in the week uh we're in we're, we're like pretty much right beside top 100 we're number two in the world <clears throat> just a few points back um with that set but now from now on after all these sets we're jumping into first place and we're pretty much getting it so from like tuesday or wednesday on we were in first place the entire time or maybe like tuesday yeah i think it was tuesday big boy mbappe at this point we have mbappe you guys know we snatched up mbappe um he saved our weekend kind of because we were doing really bad we snatched up mbappe and he started giving us goals griezmann's on the bench at this point we got alessandrini the boy mbappe if you missed the last episode go check it out one thing i did notice is mbappe is better than griezmann online at a strike at the striker position at the striker position but offline griezmann is better than mbappe and you're probably like that makes no sense um you want to have a lot of fast players offline but at the same time you want someone that's going to finish everything you put in like literally everything you put together you want someone that's going to finish and the boy Griezmann is that Griezmann can score from anywhere he can do whatever um he can score he can shoot he can do so many things right and that's why Griezmann's so big so this set you're watching right here um i think this is the set where i actually make a mistake bros and it really sucks because i started off with a seven nil bros we start off with a seven nil in game two we come out you know guns blazing yo everyone scoring anthony marshall scoring marquisio scoring and bape scoring goals anthony marshall's doing his thing he always does his things one of the most overpowered cards in the game and i'm feeling really good about myself bros i'm like yo you know what we got a chance to stay top 100 we got a big chance to stay top 100 it feels good man it feels amazing we're in such a 
a good place. Look at this game right here that we're putting together. We're going to walk out of here 5-0 fantastic result and we're gonna get corners we're gonna get shots on target we're gonna walk out of there with another massive massive display 2849 points it felt good we get matched up against this team with two defensive mids and remember i do everything on legendary and it, this is where it starts to really like crumble for us in this set right here man it crumbles hard too as well guys we come out um I, I i took i got goals quickly like i got goals super quickly like right here look we're up 2-0 17 minutes in so i was actually feeling like yo this is perfect this is exactly what the doctor ordered 59 minutes in we're up 3-0 but then come the 90th minute or come the 85th minute look sometimes you got to do this i get scored on the 89th minute so i'm set i'm 3-1 i start scoring on goals you're like what are you doing skills because the five goals are that important so i send it to extra time and in extra time um, I come out and I get the five goals. Now, was this smart? Well, if I would have beat them 3-1, I would have probably got 2,000 points, 2,200 points, if that. Um, and that would have left me in a really bad position. But because I took it into extra time and got the five goals and they only scored three, I'm going to end up picking up like 2,400 points, uh, 2,521. Now, with that all being said, that's not bad, okay? So we got 2,500 points. You're still in a good place, skills. But this is where I really mess up and the duo was able to overtake me out of number one in the world uh we start off great marquisio misses alessandrini right there to put in the back of the net just two minutes in we start that game off absolutely amazing we jump back in again alessandrini finds anthony martial 20 minutes in we're up to zero everything looks like it's going perfect we come right back down the field anthony martial runs right through everybody shoots 61st minute we're up three nil everything is going great got the corners already got the shots on target nice pass down bottom my boy anthony martial makes it four nil 85th minute and then i couldn't finish it because my man eric Bay had a one-on-one -on -one and he messed it up and uh, we only get two thousand. 400 points for that one which that now puts us in second place i know you can't really see the point yet because it hasn't updated but we're in second points with eight uh eight seven nine seven one that puts us in second place 200 points behind number one that's the guy who tweeted me i sold chiellini and the reason i sold chiellini in the road to foot champions rtg series is because we are going to go german my dudes we pick up the boy boateng i've heard great things about him a lot of my friends have hyped him up a lot of people say he's great i haven't heard one person say a bad thing about him i sold dembele i sold marquisio i sold valencia i sold Ale uh my boy uh alexandro um and i'm gonna turn around and uh buy the boy vidal for 158 now we're broke right i need 30k more 30k more to get david oliver that's when i list pretty much every gold card i have except for the ones i play william uh, i mean uh, uh, the boy william carvalho the boy de la Fu, sterling i sold them all bros and that was enough i got just enough to be able to turn around and pick up the boy david oliver we're down to like 500 coins on the account um but we have a pretty sick team now being number two in the world just 200 points behind my dude i gotta come up with a massive set bros we have to come up with a set of a lot of games at 2800 and hope that our opponent that we're competing against slips up a little bit we start this off beautifully the debut for my boy boatang gets up there puts it into the back of the net and stuff starts to look okay for us my man vidal with his debut goal as well we're up to zero um I get the corners usually pretty early, especially if I'm up 2-0. Like right here, I was up 3-0. And once I get one corner, I just try to spam, get corners, walk the line, let them kick the ball out of bounds for you, and just constantly get corners is what I do with that. Um, and then the, the shots on target, just as you play, the shots will come. The biggest thing is going defensive and making sure you don't give up goals. Anthony Martial makes it 4-0. And this is exactly, bros, what the doctor ordered. Like literally exactly what the doctor ordered when you're playing. 41 minutes into the game, we're up 5-0. We're cruising. Let me show you how I play this out. This is how I hold possession. I got the corners. I got the shots on target. This is what I do to hold possession. I just walk back and forth. I'm going to steal it from them again real quick. Oh, snap. They almost score on me, I think. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Chill, chill, skill, skill, skill. Stop that skill. Stop that. Get the ball off these idiots okay we get the ball back De Gea is holding on and I kind of just like shield you know what I mean shield go down the line fake shot come backwards and just kind of hold possession that's what I do you try to get as much possession as you possibly can you try to keep the ball away from them get the five goals and then we're going to walk out of the end. game one of this set which this set is there's only two sets left after this bros there's a set for sunday morning and a set for sunday evening if we can perform in both these sets we have a humongous possibility of staying top one in the world two eight five five in game one unfortunately game two we get matched up against a team with a lot of bronze now no matter how good we play we're not going to be able to get the biggest result like the two eights because it's a very poor team so i probably should have lobbed it onto ultimate to be able to get more points because even if you 5-0 it 10 shots 
uh, you know, all that, all that great stuff, you're still not going to get the best result possible on Legendary because they have it's a poor team. There's not good chemistry. So I got unlucky to have a bronze team like this as one of my teams. Uh, a lot of people like when they see a bad team. I don't really like it because you don't get as many points as you possibly can uh, on Legendary. But another game where we come out guns blazing bros we got the 10 corners we got the uh 10 shots on target we got the possession battle beat big time we got the five goals right here i'm just shooting the ball i'm scoring but i'm just shooting the ball to kind of get get uh shots on target the boy Conte runs down finds vidal and look at that holding possession i need one more shot on target that's the shot on target right there and we're gonna win another big game bros another massive win in the bag seven nil and again massive result you can see all the shots on target and stuff 60 percent possession but only 2000 700 so we did the exact same thing in the last game got 2855 this guy game only 2700 and it's simply because the dude's team just sucked that we played against now we get matched up against a team that will give us a lot of points if we could just go hamburger my boy anthony Martial runs right through the middle and finds one just two a minute and 17 seconds bros we score right off the back against the legendary computer um and we, had, we needed a big one, bros. Look at Vidal. Vidal's going to find another goal, man. Vidal, Boateng, so far offline, they've been great. I mean, honestly, since signing Boateng, I have not suffered many goals. I uh, loved Chiellini, but I think Bo I think the only reason I wanted Boateng, to be honest with you guys, is I loved Alexandro, one of the best left backs in the game, if not the best. Uh, Chiellini was good, but I, I think I, I, more than anything, having that Vidal in the midfield instead of Marquisio, I just feel like Vidal will be a freaking ball winner, a goal scorer, just everything you need. He's a super high rated. He looks insane. So that's why really I made the change. The boy Conte makes it 5-0 just 46 minutes into this game. We get back down there with Vidal. Finds Alessandrini. Alessandrini, bros. Oh, he's such a goat, man. Finds the back of the net. And then we're just trying to win. You see how you see here? I'm trying to win a corner. Right there, I'm trying to win a corner. I'm walking down the line to see if one of them will kick it out of bounds. They didn't kick it out of bounds, so I just get myself a goal. I don't think I got all the corners in this game. Yeah, I didn't get all the was it? Yeah, I didn't get all the shots on target, all the corners. But I did still pretty good. 2,800 points. Massive, right? So we go into the last game of this set. We haven't even suffered one goal. And we come out big, bros. My man, Gabri I mean, uh, 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 Griezmann. I started Griezmann for this set. I said, let me try Griezmann. Let me just see what's popping with Griezmann because, you know, I wasn't scoring that many goals with Mbappe. So I started Griezmann, and Griezmann kind of just finding assists, getting goals, doing everything you want uh, from the beast. We're up 2-0 early on in this game already, man, uh, and just playing really good football. Oh, I missed a goal. Sorry, man. It's actually 3-0 because I missed a goal on the edit. My boy Griezmann from outside of the box is what I'm saying. His finishing is absolutely lovely. Um, please don't tell me I missed their goal. Did I miss their goal? Hopefully I didn't miss their goal. I think I'm, I'm I, oh, please tell me I edit there. They score, bros. They score a cheese goal, man. I hope I put it in. Look at Griezmann here. Conte scores. I don't think I put it in. Oh, no, I didn't put it in. They scored a corner, bros. They scored a corner, and it made it 5-1, which only got us 2,677 points. I'm sorry, man. I didn't put the goal, and they scored a damn corner. Boateng got beat by, by Koulibaly in the air, bros. Absolutely cheese. But look at these results, man. 2,800, 2,700, 2,800. And oh, if Kula Bali didn't beat us in the air, bro, we would have got a 2,800. And that could have really been us in first place. Now, I am in first place as of right now. There's two sets remaining, Sunday morning, Sunday evening. But my homie hasn't played his games yet. So the dude that tweeted me, I love you, man. Because you, you know you watch the channel. You know who I am. I need you to lose a game, bro. I, I kind of hope you lose, man. Like, ah, I don't want to. Nah, I can't wish nothing bad, bro. Good luck, man. Good luck, bro. I wish you the best. I hope you guys enjoy, man. We're number one in the world for right now. Hopefully, we could continue in the last two sets. Spend your boy skills. Big old thumbs up. Make sure to Big thumbs up if you think we could do it, man. Make sure you subscribe. I love you guys. Sorry I missed their goal, man. Thanks for watching, though. You guys are amazing. I'll catch you soon, man. You can watch all this on my second channel. Link down below. Booyah. We out of here. What's up, YouTube? I'm your boy, Double A9 Skills. And this here, this is the Road to Foot Champions RTG Edition. Booyah Nation, welcome back to another episode, bros. We got 40 games in front of us. We got a great team. We're going to try to make some progress in this weekend league bros we've done elite one we've done elite two you know we want to go back and get back in that elite one co conversation but any elite we're happy with while all this is taking place bros i'm going to talk about some things that i'm epically failing with and when i say the things that i'm saying in this episode please don't think that i'm saying badly about you because a lot of people go if you're saying that about yourself skills then what are you thinking about me it's not about you it's only about me valencia starting at right back because you guys said he's amazing alessandrini I mean, he got the start over the boy. Dembele, pretty crazy. Alessandrini looking like a 